Well, that was a big mistake to hit in the water there, mate. It is. It's the only place you don't <laughs> want to go. Yeah, exactly. So that leads us to fundamental uh, number four, which is dealing with mistakes. I just want to start with the first uh, paragraph that, that David's written here. When emotions are brought into a round of golf, things tend to go sour. It's hard to access your best skills when you are playing with anger, frustration, regret, anticipation, and most importantly, even excitement. Learning how to manage your emotions is key to accessing your ideal performance state of golf. And that's not just golf, is it? Is there's any sport, any endeavour, yeah. really. I mean, look at the Australian tennis players at the moment yeah. and how they're twisting themselves up in knots because they can't handle their emotions. Yeah, I, I say to a lot of my juniors, as one in particular that I'm working with at the moment, there's two ways that you can deal with this. You can deal with it this way or you can deal with it this way. This way doesn't benefit you at all. No. This way does or can. So... When you break it down as like binary like that, yeah. like this way's insanity. And it's a choice. It is. It is very it much is. a choice. And, and we definitely see that the younger players struggle more with this with, um, because yeah. they're very ego orientated with their golf and they struggle to control yeah. their emotions. They're younger, so you know, the hormones. They've got and... all sorts of things going on. <laughs> but it's pe- tougher for the younger players. And they play a lot with their peers mm-hmm. and the, the competitive level is a lot more than your average, you know. I mean, Bill wants to beat Mac in their weekly four ball, but at the end of the day... Yeah. Bowl Sun's it, still going to get up to the next morning. Exactly. <laughs> bowl it, they've been doing it for so long. The bowl of chips, yeah. just going to lose a bowl of chips. But to the kids, it's you know, it can be... It's life and death. It is, and yeah. it's a real limiting self-belief. It's a real, um, it's a real key to their their ideal self-belief as a golfer and as a person sometimes. It, and their happiness and their confidence is based on their score for the day. It, it, yeah. And, which and is I think, a dangerous slope. But I think importantly you say score because mm. it's not an often how well you played. I spoke with a junior the other day who had pretty much had the round of his life but he'd obviously come out of the present and he doubled the last but he still doubled the last for the best score that he's had. Mm-hmm. But yet everything when he came off was focused, was framed in the negative yeah. And all focused on what he didn't do well and, and how he's a choker and, mm. and all of these really, really toxic, negative thoughts. Yeah. And I pointed out to him that, you know, again, there's this way we can think about the round <laughs> or there's this way. And that way doesn't benefit you all. This way does. Because apart from that one hole, and, a, and really it was one bad shot and then a bad choice. But apart from, I mean, he did everything else exceptionally. Mm. Which he needs to focus on, that positive. You know, you yeah. can come away from that day just with these wonderful mental memories, mental imagery, mind movies that you can replay over and over again. And, you know, you can also imprint that score and have that float through, you know, your mind as something that's just so positive. But it's very, very easy. And people are used to it. People are brought up with it. They're, they are. They're yeah. programmed to do it. It's to focus on that one thing that they could have done better. And, and that doesn't help us deal with mistakes, mate. No, that's not. And look, we're not saying that we don't want that competitiveness in the golfers. That's great. But it's, it's, it's handling those errors and yeah. being able to respond to them. Um, but that's why this stuff is so important. Well, it is. Because it teaches you triggers. It teaches you to be aware. Aware of when this is coming up. Aware of how you're thinking. And, and our young players aren't. You know, they, they come off around saying, you know, let's say... Uh, you repair a lot of shafts from, from, yeah. from not just young players, but it's older players <laughs> that have broken their clubs. And um, you might ask that player, so how did this happen? Why did you do this? And then they'll go through, well, this happened on this hole yeah. and that happened on that hole. But that's golf. You know, the fact is that you're going to get bad bounces. You're going to hit bad golf shots. It doesn't matter how good you are. Tour pros hit it in the water. Mm. Right? I wouldn't say all the time, but they definitely hit it in yeah. the water. And it's how we respond to those errors that it really... Uh, shows us what character we have out in the yeah. golf course and, and how well we're going to play the next shot. And, that, and, you know, and it comes down to some really basic fundamentals of understanding that it is a choice. It really is. Mm. Um, if you're struggling with those choices, so if you, if you, you get some junior say, so I just can't help it, I just get so mad. It's about understanding and identifying when that's going to happen and then yeah. learning some triggers, then learning some extra skills that, that you'll see um, with this type of thinking to help you deal 
with 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 that sort of thinking. And, and knowing yourself is really important because some players will walk faster, um, some players will talk more or talk less. There's definitely we can yeah. see a change in players. Some people get really slow when when they're getting angry or frustrated like that. So knowing yourself and being able to stay on that even keel, uh, which is what we talk about in one of the other fundamentals. Yeah, it's a big aspect of coping with these when, mistakes. When it's understanding a few of these strategies and fundamentals, you can r really take your game from here to here. Yeah. It, it's, well, it's, it's just getting your mindset into the right frame that we want to achieve yeah. to get that ideal performance state. And you know, that's, that's what we're and here to. And a state to. that's going to benefit you. Yeah. One other thing that uh, you and I haven't spoken about, which just occurred to me, is that if, if we do follow up a mistake with an emotional state, emotional response, mm -hmm. so anger or frustration or disappointment, then what that, that does inhibit is the learning process. So, for instance, I've hooked one into the water here, and if I ask a, a typical amateur golfer, what happened there, or why did you hook it, the pretty much, the simple answer is, I don't know, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I just don't want to think about it, or something like that, and get that frustrated response. But actually, we want that feedback and awareness response so that we can learn going forward. So I hit that last one off the toe and the club face was a bit closed and I know why it went left. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that I'm going to try to correct that next shot, but it goes into that memory bank. I'm more aware of, yeah. of the mistake that I've made and I file that away for practice later on, on the golf Yeah, course. one of the other fundamentals talks about um, stats and tracking and all of these type of things. Um, and that's... That's what one thing that you can do when we're talking about awareness is, is when you're doing a post-round um, wrap-up of, of yeah. your day. And we, we do like to do it post-round because when we've hit that shot, we really want to just stay in the present and think about the next shot. Yeah. But you can, you can add a little cross to that, to that hole, some seventh tee or missed left or whatever you want to do. And then you can really evaluate really what happened there. Yeah. And was it, was it a swing thought that you... You know, were you, did you focus on, were you talking to yourself correctly? Did you focus on, I don't want to go left or yeah. don't miss this left or I need to cut it off the water? But the, the real key here is that the response to the mistake is the really important thing. We want that response to be yes. uh, more in the positive and uh, focusing on the good aspects of what we're achieving in that round. And, you know, if, if there is a problem, you're hitting everything left one day, then you head out into the range in the afternoon. But how you respond to it emotionally is really going to help you short term with your next shot and it's going to help you long term with actually learning and understanding the causes and effect of that ball flight. A key belief of confident people is whatever happens, I'll be able to handle it. That's, that's a great quote, that. So we'll leave Very you with good. that. Go and have a look at this. There's some really good stuff in here, especially in this in Fundamental. Um, you know, it's three or four pages long, this particular one. So Really important. It's really important stuff. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Thank you.